Bling. I wonder if it was recording that bit. Or it right. might not have been. Because it's only just come up with the little, little uh, character thing. It could just be a really odd intro. It'd yeah. just be... Ah. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, it could be doing that later on in the video as well. Yes, because we are trying... The backwards Sonic cereal. Yes. I will have to reverse this. Some Funko. Yes, uh, I... I have no idea. It was sent to me by Modad, um, so I'm going to give it a shot. I'd rather have a bowl of Funko Pops. Can we Can we, Can we? we use that or not? Yes. We can. I'd rather have a bowl of Funko Pops. This is mine. Um, I'm going to use this to try and open it gently, because I want to try and keep the box if I can. Easy. Easy. There we go. It's not often you see someone try and open a box with a spoon. Oh. It is very blue. I'm led to believe that by the box, but um, I haven't actually seen the cereal yet. It's actually lighter blue than than in in the um on the picture. Yes. Is that a printing thing, do you think? Possibly, or they just wanted to match the colour of Sonic and they can't actually match that in real life. Well, they probably might, but it could be poisonous. Or something. Um, I think we actually do have mouse poisonous colour. <laughs> well, that certainly smells sugary. Yep. Oh. First, proffer your cereal. <laughs> That's very blue. But the Sonic isn't actually in the cereal. They've gone the rings route, I see. Yeah, but as as somebody said to me, why didn't they make the rings, you know, gold? What was... you mean, like they're featured on the back of the box? Indeed. Um, I believe that was Kerry that actually said that. Mm -hmm. And I got a little Funko Sonic. Little Funko Sonic with a little emerald. Look at that. It's amazing. That's one word for it. <laughs> what are some of the other words, Kev? It's good. Well, he is very. That's top heavy. Yeah, I might have to put Rootsack on his feet to He's keep him. You're going to have to have a stand of some description. Keep him still. Right. Gonna go you're going to go for a big full spoon, yep. are you? Yep. Bottoms up. Oh, you can face the chemicals. Oh, I'm not so sure on the flavouring. That's a um, that's an acquired taste. Yeah. I'm not sure whether I'll be requiring it, but I'll I'll work to give it a go. I, my nostrils are open. Yeah. Good. Good lord. That's um, that's powerful stuff. Yeah. Oh, it has an aftertaste. Mmm. Yeah. I'm not entirely sure whether or not I'll completely eat this. Now I'm I'm partial to um to dry cereal. Me I, too, really. I, I don't like it when it gets soggy. However, I have to try something. I have to see whether it turns the milk blue. Let's just really get it in there. Doesn't seem to be. No, all I'm doing is making the cereal soggy. Is it any better? It's slightly more palatable. Colder, certainly. Mm. However, there is no change of the colour. Nope. It's just little bl bits of the cereal floating in it rather than a change in colour. I think the best bit about this, Bob, was the, the little figure that you got. Yeah. Yeah. I'll still keep the box. Um, 
However, it's not something I'm going to revisit as a breakfast cereal. We might not. We might not go for that. No. Ah. Yeah, you definitely got the little blue bits on ah. your tongue. Ah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, so it won't change colour of the milk, but it can change the colour of the person. It's worth a go, wasn't it? It was worth a go. I wouldn't mind being a blue person. I could then sing, I am blue, da ba dee da ba die, da ba dee da ba die, da ba dee da ba die. That was awful, Bob. Well, I don't know if your singing is any better. Right, well, that, that concludes, I think. It. <laughs>